what would the world do without wheat? For many countries, wheat is a staple food that makes up a large percentage of the population's diet and a large part of the economy. Pakistan heavily relies on wheat. Wheat flour represents 72% of the nation's daily caloric intake and as much as 2% of their GDP. 36% of the workforce in Pakistan is agricultural and 80% of the farmers grow wheat. For years, Pakistan and other countries that depend on wheat production have seen their prized crop threatened by plant diseases and fungal infections, commonly known as wheat rust. If unchecked, wheat rust has the potential to wipe out 90% of the world's wheat supply. This would cause a wheat production disaster that could affect food security worldwide. Spores from wheat rust are carried through the air by global weather patterns. UG99 is an extremely virulent lineage of wheat stem rust. It can spread rapidly, and it is present in wheat fields in several countries in Africa and the Middle East. It was first identified in Uganda and quickly spread to other countries, killing large volumes of wheat crops. In Pakistan, UG99 was threatening the entire wheat production industry. It would devastate the country's economy and cause food insecurity for millions of people, a pattern that would be repeated around the world. USDA's Agricultural Research Service has partnered with Pakistani scientists, community leaders, and farmers to form the Wheat Productivity Enhancement Project. ARS plant scientist and research leader, Dr. David Marshall, is one of many ARS scientists helping farmers defend their wheat supply from UG99. To date, the WPEP has helped develop several varieties of wheat to withstand not only diseases, but also pests and extreme climate conditions, such as drought. The WPEP is credited with saving the wheat industry in Pakistan and other countries, saving millions of people from food insecurity, and proving, once again, that science can save the world.